It's a dish best served cold, even in video games. Hey everyone, I'm Ricky with WatchMojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 acts of revenge in video games. Hey, you think you'll freeze to death out there? Nah, no, probably not. Bandits will get you first. My day? It's been pretty good. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the greatest moments in gaming history where we, as the player, got to enact some sweet, sweet revenge on our enemies. Now, because a lot of these moments take place in crucial parts in the story, there is a spoiler warning and mature content warning in effect. Alright Adrian, show us vengeance. Hello Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? Number 10. Taking down PMC Desperado Enforcement. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. When a game's title literally makes a portmanteau word of revenge and vengeance, the two are all but guaranteed. In this new story, which centers on everyone's favorite cyborg ninja, Raiden, our protagonist's client is slaughtered during a mission. The encounter leaves Raiden's body torn up and his pride destroyed. Talk about a tough afternoon. From here, Raiden works with his comrades to find and take down the PMC that nearly killed him going down the list of all their leaders, cutting each one into hundreds of bloody cyborg chunks. With a kick-ass soundtrack to help, killing these jerks is oh so satisfying. Number 9. Letting Lilith Kill Handsome Jack. Borderlands 2. Hey, you're right on time. Key's nearly ready. So there you are, minding your own business as you arrive on a distant planet looking for treasure when some asshole with a handsome face declares you the bad guys. Nearly killing you and leaving you for dead ain't gonna stop a vault hunting badass like you though, especially with Jack taunting you along the way. I'm rocking my brain trying to think of a name for that diamond pony I bought. I, I was gonna call it Piss for Brains in honor of you, but that just feels immature. Hey, maybe Butt Stallion? Nah, that's even worse. I'll tell you what, I'll give it some more thought. Things between you and Handsome Jack get even more personal, however, when he takes your friend Lilith hostage, torturing her and forcing her to open up a new vault so he can rule over Pandora. After defeating literally everything Jack can throw at you, he stands there bloody and defeated, waiting for you to take the final shot. But ultimately, it's Lilith's involvement that makes it the most satisfying. That was for Roland. Number 8. The Revenge Ending. Grand Theft Auto 4. America does not change everyone. Look at you. You arrived in this country, a spineless rat who would sell out his friends. Nico moved to America to start life over and get away from the war and violence, but maybe Liberty City wasn't the best choice. In this metropolis already brimming with violence and criminal organizations, Nico inevitably gets dragged into many unfavorable situations. When he finally has the option to end it all, he sets out to take out one of the last obstacles in his life, successfully killing Dimitri once and for all. Of course, Dimitri's partner Pegorino doesn't take this lightly, killing Nico's girlfriend on Nico's cousin's wedding day. Tired and frustrated beyond belief, he works with Roman to track down Pegorino, chasing him by boat to Happiness Island where he executes him. Now that's a happy ending. A joke! <laughs> Number 7 taking down the spy master dishonored yes he's killed the empress being a bodyguard to royalty is never easy but corvo has it especially rough he's set up by the empress's own spy master to take the fall for her assassination and the kidnapping of her daughter emily and so corvo sets out to find emily help her reclaim her throne and take down the man who not only killed his beloved empress but spoiler alert dared to hurt his only daughter Can you tell me about your trip, please? Through several assassinations and neutralizations, Corvo manages to take down the Spy Master's empire, leaving him with no allies. Infiltrating his compound, Corvo is given two options, kill him or reveal him to the public as the scum he truly is. Either way, the Spy Master pays and Corvo gets even. <laughs> You're my 
my hero. Number six, Max kills Horn. Max Payne. No, 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 please God, no. Apparently being a cop in a noir setting is a recipe for heartache and misery. Max Payne comes home one day to find his wife and baby daughter brutally murdered by junkies on the Valkyr drug. Seeking payback, Max joins the DEA, working to uncover the Valkyr drug operation and shut it down for good. The devil was in the drug. I knew. I had met him. Working the cold streets, Max fights his way through corruption, drug lords, and even former friends. With help from the inner circle, he discovers Nicole Horn, the one responsible for the family murders, the drugs, everything. After a brutal assault, Max ends Nicole Horn's life in spectacular fashion, not only ending the drug production, but avenging his family too. No begging, no bribes. She knew better. Honor among killers. We who are about to die. Both of us knew how this would end. Number five, killing Polly, the darkness. We did business. We looked out for the people. I believe we ought to honor those codes. Now Polly, he's just a parasite. Wants to bleed me dry. Dying is a total bummer, especially if you happen to die right before your 21st birthday. Of course, for Jackie, death is just the start of his new life, awakening an ancient and powerful evil in him known simply as the darkness. With this new power, Jackie sets out to kill Uncle Polly and dismantle his criminal organization. The Mafia isn't the sort of group to quietly close shop, however, and Polly kidnaps Jackie's girlfriend, Jenny, executing her in front of him. So now, I take from you. With nothing left to lose, Jackie sets out to kill Polly once and for all. In the end, we see Polly as the squirming coward he is, begging and trying to compromise with Jackie, only to be gunned down. Listen, Jackie, I've been thinking, I, I know this worked out bad for both of us, but this store needs to be rash here. <laughs> Number four, defeating Rodrigo Borgia, Assassin's Creed II. Get up, the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Him. Being the son of a noble Italian family certainly comes with perks, women, riches, and elegant parties. For Ezio, however, all of this disappeared when his father and two brothers were hung for crimes they didn't commit. And after becoming an assassin, Ezio discovers that Rodrigo Borgia was the one behind it all. I've waited too long, lost too much. Requiescat in pace, you bastard. I don't think so. Ezio makes his way through Borgia's underlings, finally managing to get a hold of the main man himself. A fierce battle ensues, but ultimately, Ezio decides to spare Rodrigo in the end. Although this may be an odd choice for an assassin, Ezio recognizes that for Rodrigo Borgia, lying there battered and defeated, a man who tried to gain everything only to lose everything, killing him is pointless. No. Killing you won't bring my family back. I'm done. Number three, defeat Chai, Shenmue. No, father, no! A low-ranking member of the Chiyu men though he may be, Chai sure knows how to cause a world of trouble. This minor antagonist manages to interrupt Ryo's attempt to chase after Lan Di on several occasions. Stealing the Phoenix Mirror is bad enough, but kidnapping Ryo's love interest? Now that's going one step too far, Chai. And when you make it personal, you pay the price. I'm taking Nozomi home. Sure, you can. But... It's gonna cost you. After serving as a proverbial thorn in Ryo's side for much of the story, Chai sees his final scheme thwarted by Gui Zhang. Forced into a fair fight, Chai finds himself no match for Ryo, who sends him flying into the sea with a powerful counterattack. Talk about a satisfying conclusion. Number 2, Killing Ross, Red Dead Redemption. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? While we could have gone for a more recent revenge killing from Red Dead Redemption 2, we think this moment from Red Dead Redemption 1 is just too iconic. An ex-outlaw, all John Marsden wanted was to start over and have a nice, peaceful life. But as they say, past always catches up to you. 
When his family is taken by the BOI, he finds himself forced by Agent Edgar Ross to track down and bring justice to his former gang members. While John is successful in his mission, this is the Wild West, where justice goes to die. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found. Looking to clean their slates completely, Edgar Ross and the BOI destroy John's farm and kill him. Robbed of his father, John's son, Jack, sets out to avenge his father's death. Three years later, he finds Ross and manages to do just that in a dramatic final duel. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Alright, back to business. Number 1. Killing Ares, Numerous Gods, Then Everyone, Then Zeus. God of War series. Why? Why would you betray me? It is you who would betray me. Am I to stand idly by while Olympus is threatened? The Greek gods have a long history of toying with humanity for their entertainment. Kratos is just one of the few beings to really do something about it. After being used by Ares to kill his family and burn his village, Kratos ascends to the heavens and kills Ares, becoming the new god of war. The gods, fearful of Kratos, drain him of his godly powers. Of course, Kratos, being the vengeful Spartan that he is, he doesn't take this too lightly. Killing god after god, he even floods the world by killing Poseidon on his way to Olympus, where he again defeats Zeus, this time beating him to death with his bare fists. And thus the vengeful Kratos brought an end to the reign of the Greek gods. I think Kratos murdering the entire Greek pantheon was a bit overboard, but I can't deny that it was a ton of fun. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the list. Be sure to check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo over here, and I'll see you next time.